Are you really ready? No, I don't think they're ready. So before we start, can we just remind everybody to please shut off your cell phones or silence them until the end of the ceremony so everyone can experience this the right way? Now, I, I do have a serious question for you guys. Who has the best coach in this group? parents and supporters in this room. All right. So there's one other group I think we really need to acknowledge here. It's the people that showed up today, right? Whether you win or lose, you showed up, you put in the work, you did the best you guys could, so give yourselves a round of applause. Okay, before we get on to any results, we have a few people we need to thank. Um, the first is the New York State Fairgrounds. Uh, the staff, they've opened their doors, they've welcomed us. And I just want you to give a big cheer um, for the New York State Fairgrounds, okay? So, who went into science and industry today? and went to the Museum of Intrigue Games and Puzzles. Did any of you try those games and puzzles out? We had a great time, and we want to thank them for coming uh, to our event. Um, we also want to thank Rich Altrin, because he brought back the creativity booth for us. Uh, the DJ, Dan, over here, did a phenomenal job. and also the Syracuse Visitors Bureau. So I'm gonna pass you over to Jeff G, Jeff Goldenshoe. He's lovingly known as Jeff G on the board and he's going to introduce a nice Soma board to you, okay? Okay, as Lynn said, my name is Jeff Goldenshoe. I am the board chairperson for NYSOMA. I'm also the judges coordinator, so I put together all the judges that, that judge your teams today. The rest of the members we have, Lynn already introduced herself, but she's our state director. Chris Lucas is our board vice chairperson and our webmaster, and you can't see him because he's behind the magic curtain back here. Jeff Carter is our treasurer. Gene Oliverio is our registrar. Elizabeth Hall is our recording secretary. Christine Durso is the state final sales coordinator. We have Kevin Weidman, who is a board member. <laughs> Tiffany Smith, who is a board member. And Jack Kralik, who is also a board member. 
If anyone is interested in becoming a board member, we have two open positions right now. Uh, you can contact me through the NISOMA website, and we will have interviews at our June board meeting, which is going to be held on June 3rd. Thank you. you. You know, we're really nice people, and we're great people to work with, and we have a lot of fun. So really think about becoming a board member, because without people like you volunteering, uh, we wouldn't be able to give all this to the kids. So. Parents, coaches, we are nice, so come and join us. Graduating seniors. Amongst us, we have some, um, some Omers who are shortly going to be graduating high school. Uh, I hope you've all visited Tiffany during the dance party and registered as an alumni. If not, please do so. Would all seniors please stand and be recognized? <laughs> seniors, as you graduate, we hope that your Odyssey journey has not ended and that you'll be back judging with us and volunteering, or how about even competing in a Division Four team next year? So good luck to all the seniors. Now, every year, uh, New York State Odyssey of the Mind offers scholarships to either graduating high school seniors or Omers in their first years of college. This year's applicants were... What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get back to scholarships. So, go to your nice home stuff. Where are your checks? So we have a, every year we have what we call a Friend of Nisoma. Uh, the Friend of Nisoma Award was established by the NISOMA Board of Directors to honor the service of individuals who, through personal action, demonstrate in an extraordinary way those social values affirmed to the goals of New York State Odyssey of the Mind. New York State Odyssey of the Mind would like to award this year's Friends of NISOMA Award to Diane D.D. Hagman, the principal of Solvay High School. We are choosing to honor her today for her decision to open the doors of the, her school to Nisoma. She has been warm and welcoming, going above and beyond and helping Nisoma manage the transition of its tournament location to Syracuse. And everybody that was in Solvay today can recognize how great of a facility they are and how welcoming and helpful their staff was. By hosting virtual components, excuse me, by hosting vital components of the New York State Finals at her school, she has not only demonstrated her commitment to fostering creativity and critical thinking in students, but has also showcased Solvay as a welcoming and supportive community for students from all over the state. Every request has been met with, I think we can do that. And she has demonstrated her own admirable problem-solving skills. Her leadership and dedication are truly inspiring, and she richly deserves this recognition. Dee Dee couldn't be with us this evening as she is attending the school's junior prom. However, the vice principal is making a surprise presentation of this award during the event. NISOMA offers scholarships to either graduating high school seniors or OMAs in their first year of college. 
This year's applicants were challenged to create a lively, entertaining and creative video that will show teams everything they need to know about participating in an Odyssey tournament. We are pleased to award three scholarships this year. While the recipients come forward, please enjoy a short preview of their winning videos. The full versions will be posted on our website within the next few days. So I'm happy to announce one of our scholarship winners is Alex de Magistri, I can't say his name, so he's gonna have to help me, from Johnstown Region 21. There's only two. Oh, no. Is it going? I saw. I saw. I saw. I saw. Um, our second scholarship winner is Lauren Lamberson from Rochester, Region 14. today but we all wish her congratulations. Our final winner is Meryl Palinkas from Pine, Pine Bush Region 5. We seem to have video issues. Uh, somebody's going to have to problem solve behind the screens. Okay, so we wouldn't have this event without our great judges. Um, and you guys are so lucky in New York to have like phenomenal, well experienced judges. But not only that, fantastic state problem captains. So I'm going to announce your problem captains and they're going to stand. Now, for problem one, we have problem one people here. Um, unfortunately, our state PC, Wayne O.T., couldn't be here tonight. So um, we're stepping in his place is captain of the pirate ship, Chris Allen. Two, because I can, we have the Duke, Jim Holscher. <laughs> For problem three, classics, the walls of Troy, we have the one and only, Mad Lopez. Problem four, where's the structure? We have Sir Bill Walsh. For problem five, the most. Uh, the most what, Lynn? It's time. Oh, it's been so dramatic. The most dramatic problem ever. 
we have Queen Donna Denny. So we never see our primary teams here, uh, but we had quite a few throughout the state. Um, and those little guys did really well with Dinos on Parade. Um, and that was all, um, Mary Beth couldn't be with us tonight, but Duchess Mary Beth Sullivan is our state PC for primary. Um, for spontaneous, we have Lady Sharon Botsford. And finally in score room, I mean without uh, this person, you guys would not have any scores. We have his honorable Jeff Carter. So, World Finals will be held May 24th to 27th at Michigan State University. To represent New York State, we are able to invite not only first and second place teams, but also our third place teams from each problem and division. This also includes any of those ties and also Renatra Fusca winners. All these teams will be representing Team New York at the 2022 World Finals, which will be held at Michigan State University. Okay, so we are going to start with the sixth, fifth, and fourth, play, fourth place teams, uh, starting with Problem One, Division One. These teams will stand to be recognized. Then we'll go on to our uh, OMA recipients, third place team, second place team, starting again with problem one, division one. Then we'll go on to Renata Refusca winners, if we have any. And then finally, before you guys all go home, we'll have our first place state champions. And these teams will come forward from third, third place, Omas and Renata, second and first, will come forward to receive medals and trophies. Uh, before we cut, start, I have a message for your coaches. It's really, really important. Um, coaches of our dancing teams will receive an envelope with information in it. There will be a short meeting um, after the awards ceremony in the lottery room, which if you go through that tunnel and keep going, there's a pair of doors. It's really, really important coaches of advancing teams attend. Um, I have a lot of information to share with you and I promise I will be as short as possible. Uh, so, let's get started. Are you ready? So, can we please have these teams uh, stand to be recognized? Problem one, division one, sixth place, Lowville Central Schools. And then I do fifth, right? Fifth place, Glendale Elementary School. Fourth place, Northville Elementary School. Problem one, division two, sixth place, Geneseo Middle High School. Fifth place, Algonquin Middle School. Fourth place, Hamilton Bicentennial Elementary. Problem one, division three, sixth place, Lansingburg High School. Fifth 
fifth place, Camden High School. Fourth place, Monroe Woodbury High School. Now it's my turn. Problem two, because I can. Sixth place, Division One, Homer Brink Elementary. But guess what, guys? For sixth place, we have a tie. We also have Wellsville Elementary in sixth place. In fifth place, Jefferson Road Elementary. Fourth place, Park Avenue Elementary. So problem two, division two, sixth place, Sherburn Earlville Middle School. Again, we have a tie. Sixth place, Drake Junior High School. Are we good? In fifth place, in Bethlehem Middle School. Geneseo Middle High School. Problem two, division three. Fifth place, Middletown High School. Fourth place, Momra Woodbury. Problem three, division one, sixth place, Cobleskill Richmondville Elementary School. Fifth place, Oppenheim Ephra St. Johnsville. We had a tie in fifth place, Jefferson Road Elementary School. In fourth place, Sinis uh, Citizen General Elementary School. Problem three, division two. Sixth place, Bolton Central School. Fifth place, Washingtonville Middle School. Fourth place, York Middle High School. Problem, 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 oh, there we go. Problem three, division three, sixth place, Pittsford High School. Fifth place, Middleburg Central School. Fourth place, York Middle High School. Okay, now on to problem four, division one, where's the structure? Sixth place, Cornell Road Elementary School. Pine 
Country Elementary School. Fourth place, York Elementary School. Where's the structure? Division three, sixth place, Geneseo Middle High School. Fifth place, Pittsford High School. Oh, I did it. Oh, Upsy. Oh, do you know what I've done? I've done an Upsy here. I think I skipped Division Two. Uh oh. I skipped Division Two. So rewind. Rewind. Probably. Yeah, I. Okay, I'm always making mistakes. All right, let's go back. Rewind. Problem four, Division Two, sixth place, Mark Morris, middle senior. Fifth place, Johnstown Junior Senior High School. Fourth place, West Middle School. Division three, so two of you know who came six and face. So sixth place was Geneseo Middle High School. Fifth place, Pittsford High School. Fourth place, Binghamton High School. Problem five, the most dramatic problem ever. Division one, sixth place, what is it, six, school 16, Troy. Fifth place, we have a tie. We have Menden Central Elementary School. Also in fifth place, we have the State Street Elementary School. Hey. What is that? All right, in fourth place, Pekanasink Elementary School. Problem five, division two, sixth place. We have a tie. First one is Rochester Prep West Campus Middle School. Also in sixth place, we have Monroe Woodbury Middle School. Fifth place. Warren Street, School A. Fourth place, Cato Meridian Elementary School. Problem five, Division Three, sixth place, Green Central Middle High School. Problem five, division three, fifth place, Beaver River Middle High School. Problem five, division three, fourth place, Pine Bush High School.
All right. So we are now going to go through the Omer Award recipients. If your name is read, please come forward. Come down this side and across. The Omer Award is presented in recognition of individuals or teams who demonstrate outstanding uh, sportsmanship, exemplary behavior, or exceptional talent. Uh, the, our first award goes, this team nomination. This team started with seven members at the regionals, and when coming to states, they were knocked down to three team members due to sports that other team members had to attend. They did not quit and persevered and had to change their whole skit to make it a three-person show. They still went out there and gave it their all, even with three people. This was something that is so amazing and has defined what Odyssey is all about. Nysoma recognizes Problem 4, Division 2, East Middle School. Another Omer Award, and this is going to three individuals. These coaches are all seniors in high school. The school only had one team this year instead of two, so there was no teams for them to join. Instead of not participating in Odyssey of the Mind for their senior year, they embodied the spirit of Odyssey Mind and decided to coach a Division I team. They were supportive, encouraging, and coached with the maturity and poise of seasoned coaches and stepped up to make sure that other students got to have a positive Odyssey experience, which they wouldn't have otherwise had. This is a problem to Division Three individuals, Maya Colangelo, Hannah Fueling, and Abigail Meyer. is for an individual who is actually at the moment working in the emergency department at Syracuse, upstate Syracuse. Um, we needed a translator for a Spanish-speaking team. This individual was amazing despite having only one hour of sleep last night due to working an overnight shift in the, in the emergency department. Uh, and he's a third-year uh, third medical student. He also has never participated in an Odyssey of the Mind competition before but, uh, before, but he hopped right in and picked up the rules and translation for flawlessly. So Alejandro Placencia could not be here, but we are honoring him for his, his help today um, with our team. We have an individual nomination. 
After competing at regionals, this team did not move on to states. As it is his senior year, he decided to continue on with the help of one new team member that had never competed before. They were able to completely redo the skit and all of the props between regionals and states, as well as overcoming being a team of two in a competition meant for up to seven members. Nysoma wants to recognize with an Omer Award, Problem 5, Division 3, Cody Lawson. Award. And this is a team nomination. The musical performance exceeded above and beyond all expectations in all age levels. They captivated the audience in a raw, emotional level with their exceptionally strong vocals, original witty lyrics, intricate harmonies, and strong ukulele guitar accompaniment. This is a team from Problem 3, Division 3, Spire Legacy. advancing to Division one, third place, Joseph Henry Elementary School.
All right. Problem one, Division One, second place, State Street Elementary School. Problem one, division one, there was a tie in second place. And the second, second place winner is Perry Central Schools. Problem one, division two, third place, Perry Central Schools. Problem one, division two, second place, Warwick Middle School. Problem one, division two, we had a tie in second place. We also have in second place, Honeyoy Falls Lima Middle School. Problem one, division three, third place, Johnstown Junior Senior High School. Problem one, division three, second place, Geneseo Middle High School.
we're in actual fight for problem two, division one, we have a tie. So also third place is State Street Elementary School A. Problem two, division one, our second place winners are Iroquois Middle School A. Problem two, division two in third place, Long Beach Middle School. Division two, second place, Pittsburgh Middle School. Division three, third place, Vestal High School. Division three, second place, Broad Albin Perth.
Problem three, division one. Third place, Sherburn Earlville Height Elementary School. Problem three, Division one, second place, Long Beach Elementary. Problem three, division two, third place, Cato Meridian Junior Senior High School. Problem three, division two, second place, Joanna Perrin Middle School. There was a tie for second place in Problem 3, Division 2. There's also Pittsford Middle School.
So I want to make sure everyone. Problem three, division three, third place, Warwick Valley High School. Problem three, division three, second place, American Civic Association, Binghamton, New York. Division one, third place, State Street Elementary School A. Problem four, division one, second place, Malta Avenue Elementary. Problem four, division two, second place, Seneca Intermediate School. Division three now. Third place, Salamanca Central. Getting the trophies right. Hold on. This is where I sing a song because while we sort out the trophies, we're good. We're good. I don't need to sing to you, so you should be really grateful about that because I can't sing. Okay. Problem four, division three. 
Second place, Avril Park High School. Problem five, division one, third place, Long Beach Elementary School. Problem five, division one, second place, State Street Elementary School B. Problem five, division two, third place, Iroquois Middle School A. Problem five, division two, second place, Golding Middle School. Problem five, division three, third place, Galway Junior Senior High School. Problem five, division three, tie for third place. Also goes to Cobleskill Richmondville High School.
Problem five, division three, second place, York Middle High School. The Renato Fusco Award is presented to teams or individuals who exhibit exceptional creativity, either through some aspect of their problem solution or an extraordinary idea beyond the problem solution. If an individual or a team receives Renato Fusco Award, the whole team qualifies to advance to the World Finals. So we have some Renato Fusco winners. This goes to a team. So this team was utterly hilarious and talented while still presenting a serious topic. We as judges were all moved. Problem three, division three, American Civic Association. All right, our second Renato Fusca nomination is a team nomination. How do you navigate pirates to find treasure only using a Rubik's Cube? Using all 48 faces available to them on eight cubes. One team was able to solve this puzzle perfectly. Engineering a three-dimensional map that folded and unfolded to reveal intricate hand-drawn set designs and breathtaking illusions. Without looking at the front of their creation, the team cleverly manipulated their elaborate map through a multi-step process with incredible facility to add flair to a spectacular performance. Nysoma recognizes Problem 1 Division 2 team, Monhagen Middle School. Fusca is a team nomination. This team took a big risk in designing the components for their vehicle to function in this way. It required precision engineering, calculation and execution. Nothing was commercially made for the propulsion system. Problem 1, Division 3, Johnstown Junior Senior High School! Johnstown Junior Senior High School in oh they're on the way hold on so did they actually hear Johnstown Senior Junior High School are you here where did you go <laughs> you just won a Renatra 
They went for food. They were hungry. You're like, what? What? Okay, hurry up. You just got a Renatra. Okay, before we go on to first place, I have two ladies here I want you to recognize. They have been working behind the scenes with all the trophies and medals, making sure things don't get messed up. So I would like Alicia Hargraves and Paula Bianchi to come forward and take a bow. And I would like you guys to say thank you. messes so every time I mess up they help me okay so we are now on to our New York State champions our first place winners um, so a reminder all coaches all teams are advancing which is third place second place first place Renata Fuska winners and any ties third second and first I really need to see at least one coach in the lottery room, which is way back there. It's really, really important. Okay, so that will be after we've finished at the end. And I promise I will be quick. So we are now going to announce our New York State champions. In first place for problem one, division one, Presidential Park Elementary. Problem one, division two, first place, Monhaga Middle School. Division three, first place, Vestal High School. Job, guys. All right. Problem two, Division One, first place, Long Beach Elementary School.
Problem 2, Division 2, first place, Warwick Middle School. Problem two, division three, first place, Vestal High School. Problem three, division one, first place, Goshen Intermediate School. Division two, first place, Long Beach Mellow. Problem three, division three, first place, Goshen High School. to problem four, division one in first place, Honey Oi Falls Lamer Manor School. Problem four, division two, first place, York Middle High School.
Division Three first place, Washingtonville High School. Problem five, division one, first place, Homer Brink Elementary School. Problem five, division two, Oxford Academy Middle School. Problem five, division three, first place, Fairport High School. Advancing teams. Bye.